Hello, everyone. Um, thank you very much for joining today. Uh, here we have 9-11, uh, 20th year prayer for peace. And uh, actually, my name is uh, Reverend Dr. TK Nakagaki. I'm uh, president of the Ewa Peace and Reconciliation Foundation of New York, uh, which was written underneath of myself. And uh, so the picture that I have in the back is we used to do the um, floating lantern ceremony to commemorate the, this 9-11, uh, always in the evening of 9-11. So that's why uh, we seems like a little bit late, but then this is a time that we had. And because um, uh, many parts of the day celebration or the observation remembrances are uh, a little bit noisier and uh, you know a lot of talks and so forth but on the other hand uh, this part of the floating lantern ceremony that uh, we always make was the actually kind of quieter way so uh, instead of uh, making a lot of uh, sounds and so forth but rather you know because in the evening uh, we have the feeling of calming down our mind and then so settle down and quietly uh, thinking of your loved ones or those who gone before us or the one who actually um, killed by the, the terrorist attack and at the same time we also include the people who are uh, who lost their lives through kind of related to the 9 11 because uh, as you remember, Iraq was started and many other people were killed too. And in this uh, planet of Earth, so many people are passing, are killing uh, each other still. But so in a way, this is a peaceful way to observe the 9-11 uh, events. And I believe it is very important to have, you know, tragedy, all those, you know, woes and violence and so forth happens. But then how you deal with it, because sometimes we just get revenge or idea of, or they did it, so we have to return to them. And so, but then, you know, that cycle of uh, hurting others is continue. So the way the, the Buddhist, especially for us, for me, is the response is always with the uh, part of the Buddhist teachings, you know, the hatred uh, has never dispelled, you know, hate. And the absence of hatred leads to peace. And this is uh, this law is ancient, but also uh, lasts forever. And so the the way that we deal with again those tragedy uh, or you know violence wars should be taking us the mind of compassion a mind of love and a mind of peace and so that's why uh we this uh when we have this organ uh you know the floating lantern ceremony uh we last you know we did it like a 10 years actually from uh, after the 9 11 following year until 2010 and so uh, we have a lot of people involved and uh um it's a kind of a coming together because uh, a religious leader i'm going to show you later those are the pictures that i i'll show you later but um you know these are the people working together that you know because of the environment we need a kayak people to you know do all those uh 
uh, what do you call it, uh, taking all the floating lanterns, but then the, you have to return them back, right? And uh, also, you know, uh, because this is the first time ever done in a Hudson River for this kind of uh, in Manhattan, uh, the floating lantern. So we couldn't use the frame, so we have to use a little uh, battery operated light. And so forth. So it says different things that we have to involve. And then there's a lot of Japanese young volunteer people to create the lanterns. And then we get all the people write it, the message for peace. And you know, so we have to create those things over there at the place. So you see all those um, things that we had. And then this was sort of like a response, like an Eastern way, you know, because some people, of course, enjoy the. Uh, you know the excitement and people together but some people are really like a more private or enjoy the more you know quiet area calming down not too much talking but be silent but yet you know that that's actually the you know different type of people so in a way meditative this one and so uh, that's the thing so, so so tonight also i would like to do this ceremony 20th anniversary so prayer for peace so through this gathering we create the peace cultivate or cultivate uh, the peace in mind and uh, compassion love and so forth uh, instead of uh, hate or instead of anger or instead of selfishness uh, selfish desires so we go set aside all those things. And so that's the uh, one of the focus for today's uh, memorial. And uh, so I'd like to welcome all of you to be here with me and with us and then to commemorate today. And um, with uh, some memory that I have, some pictures are from 20 years ago or 10 years ago, but also this pro tradition continue uh in the even after 9 11 i mean the 10th year one time we finished 10th year then after that we continue at the uh, east side, east river uh from the queen's side uh, on an international day of peace instead of a 9 11. Uh, but it's close enough in same september and so so it's changed a little bit but then the intention is still the same for peace so uh so i hope uh, you will have the, your time spent with us to create a uh, field. Again, we are together, um, floating the lanterns and keep sending the message of peace to everyone, uh, to the world as well. So thank you so much for joining. And today I do have working together with uh, uh, sub, uh, Aise Dino, Dino Aise, and she's a secretary of uh, Ewa Peace and Reconciliation Foundation New York, and as well as the uh, the present, I guess, Tiara group. So, so I would like to welcome her to say a few words. And uh, so especially she will explain the part of the picture. I explain a little bit about uh, what is uh, what you see in the pictures, but also she will explain some of the songs and the other parts that involved in the uh, the video that you, you will see. Okay, so Dino-san, onegaishimasu. Uh, just uh, one second. Okay, maybe I'll just put your name, Rino Aise-san. Today, my New York Health Foundation, Nagaki Hoshi, Good evening, my name is Aise Rino, and and I'm the secretary of Hewa Peace and Reconciliation Foundation, New York. I sing a song uh, playing the Sanshin, the Okinawa instrument. Today I will sing uh, called Life, Inochi. In Japanese, and uh, that's the original song that we create. Before we play the music with a video, I would like to explain what is this music is about. I mean, song is about. 
。この「ライフ命」という曲はガークの曲の中で最も有名と言われている「エテーナクイ」に中垣法師が詩をつけてつけてくださいました。Uh, this is one of the very famous old,、uh, classical、uh, music, West,、uh, Eastern music, especially Japanese music,、um, the called Etenraku. It's like a song s of going beyond the heaven. And、um, so that's the song that we will sing.、Uh, this is the, one of the traditionally most、uh, known the song. And then they make a lot of p o e m with it. そしてヘアピースバンドにより編曲し出来上がりました。So we also arrange、uh, the hair piece band、uh, arrange this song and、uh, we just uh, uh, make the songs kind of little differently、uh, with the new uh, uh, relics. ライフ命の詩を朗読させていただきます。Now I would like to read The poem of the uh, uh, life. まぶたを閉じればさまざまな。Closing my eyes, I will see. ふだんは見える、いつもは見えぬ音たちが。The sounds I don't normally see. 私の中で踊り出す。Start to dance within me. 自然の鼓動が鳴り響く。Heart beats from nature echo around. 寄せては返す波の音。Sound of waves come and go. 来ては消えゆく風感じ。Feel, view the wind blow and disappear. 吐いては吸い込む息の道。Pass of breathing. Exhale and inhale. I'm living this moment. Every day with joy, anger, sadness, and happiness. Once awoken to the reality of life. All becomes、uh, precious and lovable. Peace is most valued, has sunk into my mind and body. So, there are Dai Hu in Ochio. So、uh, we'll play the music live.、Uh, Inochi.
Sincere mind, I take refuge in the awakened one to the truth and reality. With sincere mind, I take refuge in the truth of the universe that we are living on this entire planet of Earth and also entire un yeah, universe. With sincere mind and respect, I take refuge in the people who practice the peace, compassion, and love and wisdom. May all living beings be happy, well, and peaceful. May we all be free from suffering, or we all be, may we all be free from pain. Sorry. May all be free from attachment, from greed, anger, and ignorance. May we all attain ultimate happiness and peace of enlightenment. Peace to you all. Amen. Thank you.
So now we want to invite um, Dino san again uh, really to say some few words and um, maybe including some, you know, how you see, uh, how, how's your experience of the 9 11? A little bit, and if you know some of those, and then maybe some sharing would be great. Thank you. 2001年前、テレビで2棟のビルが映ってました。20 uh, years ago, today, uh, September 11, and I saw the TV when I was I was in Japan. I was watching that in Japan. The scenery that I saw was very difficult to understand what's really going on, uh, what happened to New York. Uh, it happens uh, all of a sudden, unexpectedly, uh, as I live in a daily life. All the pain and difficulties is uh, almost impossible to avoid for all of us. Dostoevsky in the uh, Russian, uh, uh, the novelist, uh, talk about that. Uh, the famous, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, pronunciation is different, I know, but uh, the artist uh Van Gogh, yeah he he have uh, also expressed the uh, the sadness is continue in the life and uh, through his art so that's also understandable from that sense oh sorry can you stop? Sopocles mm. and the, uh, the, those uh, philosopher, you know, uh, Greek. The peaceful moment is uh, uh, sort of uh, nurture. Our life. So he said in a, before the, you know, uh, over, uh, over 2000 years ago. All the words that the, the, all those the philosophers and uh, well known. Uh, people uh, gave the kind of different impression to each of us, but yet. Uh, for me, those three are the words that I'd like to share with you. I'm wishing that uh, uh, the life very peaceful life and uh, with the uh, without any trouble. That's my wish to you all. Okay, so let me, sorry. Um, one thing I was going to show something, however, somehow it has been a difficult time to, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, show some of the video that I have found actually. 
So I'm struggling to show this, but then the somehow, somehow uh, you hear the sound, but you don't see the, uh, the screen probably. So let me try. Hopefully, this is actually 10 years. Uh, oh, yeah, I can. I, I think I can show it now. And this is the actually 10 years ago, which is a 10th year anniversary of 9/11. Uh, uh, and uh, this is actually the was the last one that we did for the uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, oh, sorry. The, I hope you can see now. And so this is the last one that we had. The Hudson River, and so so actually I'm going to explain. So so you're watching the video of 9/11, 10th year, uh, you know World Trade Center Memorial Floating Lantern Ceremony, which is a ceremony that I, um, I I'll be organized. And then so this is a sort of like a short version. The, the most of the time we have uh, like a couple hours to stay in uh, Hudson River Pier 40, if you know where that is. And then, uh, so we have the performance and as well as all the messages, um, interface prayers. So in a way, the culturally different uh, professional people gather and having um, the observation or remembrance of uh, the 10th year anniversary for this particular one. And uh, actually, this one is also the same year of the uh, 311. It's, you know, in Japan, the you know, tsunami and earthquake in Japan was uh, March 11th on the same year. And so, if you see a little, uh, what do you call it, um, uh, the Chinese character written, that is basically saying we show respect to those people who die by 9-11 as well as the March 11th. So, so that's the uh, part that we used to do. So I hope it's not entire things, but then uh, we just have uh, some highlights of it. To take, uh, it will be half an hour, so you can take your time. And I, I, I have to change the part one, part two, but I hope uh, you will see. And um, I just happened to found this tape today. <laughs> so it's something that I feel like I should show. I wasn't planning to show anything else after our gathering, but um, I hope uh, you all enjoy this So this is years we've been coming to this place, honoring the dead, putting forth our prayers for peace as we float lanterns out onto the Hudson. And one of the wonderful things about this ceremony has been the lack of words as we send our prayers out onto the water, watch the sun go down and the lights come up. Having said that, however, I'm going to say a few of them, words that is in introducing the uh, folks who will give the prayers. A year ago, we in New York had a moment of amnesia, I would say. We forgot that in this, the most diverse, religiously diverse city on the planet, we need each other to face the challenges of today. In the year that followed, the mayor's office had a public campaign on subways and on billboards that read, we are all in this together. Well, tonight I'm gonna to introduce to you religious leaders who are in this together and have been for years. They have contributed in their own way to making New York City this diverse and vibrant city. So in the order that they are going to pray, I'd like to invite, uh, uh, they will, come on together after I've done the introduction. Hari Simran Khalsa from the United Six, who are here tonight and doing the very important job of feeding us as they have for a decade. 
Rabbi Justice Baird of Auburn Seminary and fellow partner in the Prepare New York Initiative. Veda Jamuna of the Hindu Cultural Center, a place in Queens that has given so much to particularly the elderly community in that part of the city. The Venerable Michi Sunim, president of the New York Buddhist Council, the Council of New York, and uh, who's, who brought us the, the ceremony with TK Nagagaki some time ago. The Reverend Bob Coleman of the Riverside Church, that place of a beacon of social justice work, and the uh, to Michael Manswell, the priest of the Orisha tradition of Trinidad and Tobago, who has been a friend of the Interfaith Center for so long. Finally, uh, Imam Sheikh Basharlo of the Murid Islamic community in America, and your community of West Africans is such a great. Uh, part of Upper Manhattan, and we're thrilled that you can be here today. So if you would please come forward and, and give us a blessing. God of our ancestors, we offer two prayers for two towers, one to remember and one for hope. To remember how we came together after the horror and to remember those who were taken from us. Two prayers for two towers, one to remember, one to hope. We hope for our children to feel safe. We hope for a world without hate crimes, without terror, and without revenge. El Elyon, God Most High, we were once strangers in a strange land. So you taught us always to protect the rights of the stranger. Remind us to be our best selves, even when we are angry or hurt or in pain. Remind us that we are interconnected, interdependent with you, with your world, and especially with each other. Baruch atah Adonai ha-pores sukat shalom aleinu ve'al kol ha-olam. Blessed are you, ruler of the universe, who spreads out a shelter of peace over us and the entire world. And let us say, Amen. Good afternoon, everyone. And uh, thank you very much for joining us today. I have been a uh, chief organizer of this event since July 2002. And this uh, floating lantern ceremony is a Buddhist way to commemorate those who have gone before us with respect and gratitude and without any you know, political agenda that we normally have. And at the same time, I intended to create an inclusive, harmonious, and peaceful gathering. I started this floating lantern ceremony to commemorate the 9-11 victims and all those who lost their lives related to 9-11 following the Japanese summer Buddhist uh, Obon memorial tradition. I remember when we started, we had a lot of challenges to get the permit, even since uh, that was the first time ever to do the floating lantern ceremony in Manhattan here. Although I was the chief organizer of this event, it would have been impossible to actualize it without assistance of the New York Day Volunteer, you can see the sign there, <laughs> who, <coughs> yeah, you please give them a hand, <laughs> without assistance. Um, sorry, the, so the New York Day Volunteer is to make the many lanterns 
and kayakers who float the lanterns into the river and then we and um, um, so the also original uh, originally uh, Kazumi Terasan from New York the Volunteer and Eric Bird from downtown boathouse at that time and myself worked together and exchanged ideas and created the basic form of the lanterns and both individuals are here on the stage actually uh, so the Kazumi san and uh, Eric so those three of us really started to exchange a lot of things and then uh you know also i should probably mention before i forget uh you know i remember the um, wonderful muslim muslim pakistani family who donated the stylophone you know used for the base uh, of the lantern and uh, uh this was uh always uh, you know always would be using actually the you know base for and last i mean last actually 10 years and we really appreciate that and uh, you can see you know this is a team efforts to you know many people and from the many tradition and all the different culture all together now and then so so that's the way we created this um, things. and after the first doing it in august from the third year we ex uh, we changed actually to the 9 11 which is appropriate for the new york similar to the hiroshima that's the floating lantern on the uh, anniversary of the atomic bomb since then noriko hino over there and uh, current director of new york the volunteer and uh randall hendrix uh hendrickson sorry of the new york kayak company has been helping us together with the Buddhist Council of New York, the Interface Center of New York, and recently United Six, New York Interface Disaster Services. Then this year, more pro uh, more uh, organizations are joining to co-sponsor this event. And make sure, please, see the front of the program. You know, I'm sure the chairperson is going to acknowledge it later. So I'll I'll give him the time to do his own his work so uh, but it is a great to see the circle of the our floating lantern ceremony uh, became larger and larger and uh, made a circle of this of the light of peace healing and hope represented by the lantern ceremonies spread all over the world and uh, thank you very much
but this is a part two that I would like to share. And um, uh, but and the so it's always the uh, uh, the ceremony start like the way that you see of a cultural program as well as the people who are participated in uh, various uh, professions and then the musicians and uh, also interfaith religious leaders which give uh, uh, you know sense. So let me continue for the next part of the part two. Just one second. Probably you can hear at least the sound now. So hopefully we can show the rest of the things as well. Enjoy. Uh, or actually, yeah, be as if, uh, I hope you feel like you're part of this particular ceremony and showing you respect and uh, creating the peace. Watching towards the uh, Hudson River, uh, we are doing the ceremony. Just, uh, floating lanterns. And those who are watching the uh, YouTube, I believe, uh, thank you for your comments too.
Carry the lantern to the river. Somebody wants to take a lantern. We used to uh, have uh, 108 lanterns. 108 represent the blind passion, like greed, anger, and hatred, and so forth. So creates the problems. And then, but so which means there is a hundred ways to go overcome all those difficult sufferings. So, so 108 represent both all the problems that we have, and as well as all the you know, possibility to overcome those problems. that higher people 
putting the, all the lanterns. Yes, it's a handsome movie. Floating lantern, so many different the chantings and prayers are also going on at the same time. So we hear the different sounds in the different uh, chants from the Buddhists as well as the uh, other instruments.
So if we don't have any corona in pandemic, this is what we wanted to do this year too, at the uh, PL40 or past three, you know, um, the scene that you see. It's, um, but at least so, so we feel like, oh, this is what we're planning to do, and possibly you'll be part of this and um, show respect again, and with the uh, um, opportunity to think of your own piece away, because uh, here people are gathered, and then they just do their own way of expressing peace, their prayer, and uh, so so i guess if you are here about how you can express your peace and that's also the good questions so there are some many japanese voices you heard so those are a lot of them are volunteers so so many volunteer people i don't i, I don't remember how many maybe 30 50 people uh gather young you know new of the volunteer people so Without them, of course, we couldn't do this uh, event. And as you can see, oh, that's myself coming up, so getting uh, closer to the end. But, um, so, the, as you can see, also the kayak is very, very essential. And then the, it's not just a couple of kayak people, there's <laughs> lots of people here, like at least 10, 20 kayak is uh, uh, helping us. And so, so, so this event itself was really is you know um, kind of a, together we make this event. Not one group cannot do this, but then if we get together, we can just do something. You know? So I think that's the also the lesson that I learned from the 911 too. So um, yeah, from that mind of togetherness, and so. Uh, if we have a mind together, we can do anything, you know. So, so hopefully, um, this anniversary give us the opportunity to think for peace, think for your life, think what you can really do. Because I remember after 9/11, I try to do everything when I feel like I have to do. Because timing is everything, you know. You never know what's going to happen next part. And so, so which means you try to really focus on uh, now, the moment. So I hope uh, this uh, anniversary, this one have a uh, the video, give us some opportunity to think like those things. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. It should be over soon. But I believe you can tell this is a long, you know, uh, like an event. But yet, as a, I think th this time there was about 1,000 people came. And uh, so that was a wonderful way. And then the, this one is the only event probably open to the public too. So children can draw the, all the messages. I mean, some children came together with adults though. And then uh, coming down to the uh, like water area and float the lanterns too. So, thank you again. And so that's the end for today. And I uh, appreciate you very much for all your <coughs> patience. And uh, I was going to do this program only half an hour today, but because I just found this particular uh, thing, so. Um, I decided to uh, share it, and uh, yeah, somehow the I guess the recording works. And so again, uh, Rino-san, thank you very much for helping me this time. 
And uh, so I appreciate it very much. So peace to you and then peace to you all. Thank you so much.